I turned this glass jar into its own closed ecosphere. It even comes complete with its own pond feature, bioactive life, as well as an apex predator. I'll link everything used in the description below. After using my hand to gauge how much room I had to work with, I used some aquarium divider grid to build a false bottom. With the drainage layer complete, I used some window screen as a barrier for the soil. I also built up the pond area using some rocks. I secured that with some hot glue gun. I left an area in the front of the glass where I would ultimately build the pond feature using these rocks. I put them together using some Gorilla Glue. I layered the bottom of the pond feature using some smooth black aquarium gravel river rocks. I also layered some activated aquarium carbon on top of the window screen. I also added a small layer of black lava rocks. I had some gold flakes that I thought would look really cool on the rock feature of the pond. I used the Gorilla Glue to fasten it to them. Finally, I also added some Aqua Soil Amazonia Aquarium Fertilizer. Now I was ready to plant. The plants that are in the pots, obviously I bought from the store, but a lot of these are trimmings that I got from my various terrariums and aquariums. I started with the land section first. I got most of the soil off the roots, but I wasn't too worried about some of the potting plant mix to get in there. I also took some bioactive soil out of my tortoise tank. There's tons of little worms, springtails, and little purple dwarf isopods that break down the tortoise waste, making it super fertile. I went ahead and layered that in between the plants, wherever I could fit some in. Next, I added some baby carrots, as well as some yellow squash. The yellow squash will get eaten right away, but the carrots will be a slow breakdown, adding lots of nutrients to my little ecosystem. Then I pieced in some oak leaf litter as well. 
I have some pretty cool terrarium plants in my poison dart frog vivarium, so I went ahead and harvested some of those for the project. I also have my polydarium that I have some fish in where there's some pretty good semi-aquatic moss as well as some aquatic plants for the pond feature that I'm using. When I finally had everything planted, I added some distilled water. I noticed that there was some cool moss growing on some of the leaf litter in my poison dart frog vivarium, so I was sure to grab some of that as well. I threw in a piece of cuttlefish bone for the isopods that are living in here. They need it for their calcium intake. I also spritzed in some of my orange springtail colony. I finally had a complete bioactive ecosystem. At least, I thought it was complete. That was until this little fella almost landed on my head while I was taking a shower. I frantically looked for something and finally found a matchbox and was able to trap it. And now, my bioactive ecosphere had its own apex predator. Since I released him in there a week ago, I haven't seen him yet, but I'm sure he's doing just fine, seeing as there's tons of food for him to eat. Here's how it looks after about a week. I was opening the terrarium about once a day just to make sure it was getting ventilated and the plants could acclimate to the new humidity levels. As expected, there was some mold growth, but the springtails should take care of that pretty quickly. Also, all the plants were starting to ditch the old leaves, rearranging themselves and sprouting new ones in order to regrow and compete for the new and limited space available. I also harvested some aquarium snails from my polydarium so they could keep the glass as well as the algae down in the water section. After two weeks, the whole ecosystem had stabilized, the plants were looking healthy, the springtail colony was thriving. As you can see here, they're mating in the water and reproducing just fine. I also noticed there was tons of little microbial life and daphnia in the water, meaning that the system was healthy and stable. There's even some little mystery saplings starting to grow out of the soil, so we'll have to wait and see what that is. Make sure you subscribe and like for more content since there's definitely more to come or check out some of my other content. Personally, I recommend my Poison Dart Frog Vivarium build.